All right, guys, it's Atre from Build with Python, and today we are going to be learning about adding background image to our Py game. So right now, if we open up our space in Vader game, you will be able to see that we have an enemy, we have a spaceship, but it's happening in the black background, which doesn't look that good. We need to add some kind of a space background to make it very cool. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm already downloaded an image of a background that is background.png and it somewhat looks like this. So how did I get this image? So what I did was I went to this website for freepick.com, P-I-K and then free, freepick.com. And I searched for this uh, text which says colorful spaceship background. Obviously feel free to get an image from wherever you want, but make sure you get an image that's 800 into 600 pixels. Why is that size? Because our game window is of that size. As you can see, we have made a game window of this area. So what I did was I went over there and you can choose any of these images, but the image that I chose was this one and then I used Illustrator. So Freepik is a website which is gonna give you a lot of Illustrator, Photoshop stuff and you have to edit it out to make it your own. So I removed all of the weird stuff that we didn't want. For example, this rocket, this text and stuff. So I removed all of that stuff. And if you know Illustrator, feel free to make a new image on your own. So what I'm going to do for you guys, if you're not able to get this image on your own, is that I'm going to attach it to the description or attach it somewhere so that you guys can get this image. Just look uh, at this video's uh, text. So what I'm going to do is after we download this background image to our uh, project folder, make sure you do that. Then we are just going to add it to our window. So over here, how do we add images to our uh, program is just by pygame.image.load. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna add a comment, let's say, and um, we're gonna write just background. Let's just write background. And then I'm gonna create a variable called background. And I'm gonna do the same thing that we did with the rest. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it over here. And instead of UFO, I'm gonna write background. So obviously my image is of 800 into 600 pixels. So make sure it is of that size. So now that we have added it, if we run it right now, it's not gonna appear because it just appears for a second and then it disappears. We want it to persist. So how do we make it persist? Is by adding it to our while loop. So we need to make sure that we go to our while loop over here and we are gonna add it just below the screen dot fill because if we don't, then this black color is going to be on top of our background image, which we don't want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add another comment over here, which is gonna say background um, image. And we forgot the B, so let's add B. And then over here, we are just gonna do the screen. Th this typical thing we do when we want to add an image, which is screen dot blit. So basically draw the background image and then we need the variable of the image. So that is background. And then we need to add the coordinates of our image. So we just want it to appear from the top left corner. So we are gonna add zero comma zero. And that should be pretty good. So let's run our main.py program. Let's run main. And you'll be able to see that our background is there. But the problem with the background and our enemy and our spaceship is now that they are moving very, very slowly. And why is this? So if you're gonna pause this video and figure it on your own, that would be pretty cool. But I'm just gonna explain it over here. So our background.png is actually 226 pixels, uh, sorry, 226 KB, so it's a little bit heavy. But what happens is when this while loop is running, every iteration of this while loop previously used to happen really, really fast. But now because it has to load this heavy background image, the iteration of this while loop, every iteration is a little bit more slow. So that is why whenever we are increasing the value over here, so for example, we are increasing the value of player, it is too small. So whenever this while loop is going, it's just increasing the value by 0.3, which is very slow. And that's why it's not able to move around a lot. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna just increase the value to five of our players. And I'm gonna change the value of our enemies. So let's see where, is, where are our enemies. So here are our enemies. And I'm gonna give it a value of, let's say four. I just want these enemies to be a little bit slower than our spaceship because when there are going to be multiple enemies, then uh, we don't want them to appear like really, really fast. So let's reload it now and see if it works. So it's still slow. Why is this happening? Our spaceship has increased its uh, movement, but the enemy is still slow. So let's see if our, somewhere our old values are still persisting. So enemy, we have changed the X value over here. So let's go up and see where we have not changed the value. So over here, the enemy exchange is still 0.3. So we have to change it over here too. Let's make it four. 
and now we can reload it and you'll be able to see that the enemy is moving at a good speed so now we have the background image we have our spaceship and we have our enemy the only thing missing is the bullets because we don't have the bullets right now to kill this enemy so the next video we are going to make our bullets or get started with making our bullets so i'll see you over there